But what is so wrong with the guy wearing this? Oh. Out of the norm? Yeah. Well, I've got a surprise for y'all! Welcome to Good Game Well Played, the talk show with a twist. Every episode, we talk about topics in our society. Oh, while playing fun games. At the end of the day, we just want to have a good discussion and play some games. Feelings might get hurt. People will get shook. But hey, at the end, we can all say, Good, good game, game, well, well played. played. Oh, and finally, the points don't matter. Huh? The points don't matter? Yeah lah, the points don't matter. Ah, then like that how? Master lah, stop wasting time, stop asking so much questions. Master, master! Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Good Game Well Played! Hey. My name is Sam and I'll be your host for today and today we have Keith! <laughs> Let's try that again. We have Keith! We have Wendy! And we have Victoria! Okay, so today on the episode we will be discussing the topic of gender inequality. Ooh. Okay, I'm doing it. <laughs> See, we have some lovely cards placed out in front of the very nice table in front of us. And what will we be doing is that we'll be asking each other questions that are on the cards. So what's going to happen is that the pink cards are questions for the lovely ladies. Why is it that reaction? Like, like... Why not? <laughs> the pink ones are for the ladies. Blue ones are for the guys. Yeah. Before we start answering the questions, we are actually going to go one round and share about our personal experiences pertaining to gender inequality. So let's get the ball rolling. Yes. Yes. Do you have an experience with gender inequality? Not off the top of my head. So that can show how privileged I am. We point, love a man who knows that is privileged. And I guess for myself, all right, this happened in primary school. I can't remember what exactly I was doing, but I ended up crying for some reason. Hey, I was an emotional guy, it's fine. But the moment I started crying, right, a few of my classmates and friends, they just started pointing at me and laughing and saying, Haha, you're crying like a girl. Then now as I think about it, like why is crying related to like being a girl, you know? So it happened when I was having a meal with like my guy friend, like it was just two of us having drinks, right? So I ordered a beer because I like beer. Like, and he ordered a cocktail. The waiter came and was just like, yeah, for, for the lady, he suggested a cocktail for me and then the beer for him. And I was just like, sorry, the, the, the beer's mine. So there's a lot of like this, yeah, the stereotypes there. Like the fruity drinks are for the females and then like the... Maybe my beer give me the sex of guys. I've got chest on my hair <laughs> and I need to drink this beer. <laughs> <laughs> Let us start with the first question. Yeah. Are we gonna do the ladies go first or shall we break gender norms? I think the gentle lady yeah. should go first, right? Yes, gentle. I think I've dug myself into a hole here. <laughs> Alright, the first question for the ladies is Have you ever been called an alpha female? Alpha female, definitely. If you're my friends and you're watching this, you know that for a fact. I'm sorry. But I'm not sorry for being alpha, it's just that it's a fact and y'all know this. I think it is a compliment now. I used to think that it was like a derogatory statement, and sometimes it still is, but. Uh, you know, just embrace it. Like, I mean, if you can't handle the heat, like she says, then just walk away, baby. Walk away. <laughs> <laughs> That's spicy. <laughs> what do you mean by spicy? I don't know, like, okay, yeah, spicy. Yeah, like, spicy. Yeah. Wait, wait, spicy, spicy and like the sexy spicy? Or spicy uh, and then, like the, the spicy, spicy spicy? I don't know, it was just spicy. And I was like, you can't take that heat. Mm -hmm. Get uh, out. Okay. Alright, so, Keith, are you ready to answer a question? Okay, let's go! Let's go. Have you ever been called names in a derogatory way for certain actions or thoughts? I think the terms that we are referring to, even though we at the Royal Singapore do not condone these terms, we're gonna spell it out for you. So maybe terms like uh, sissy or punya, am I, am I pronouncing it right? Or like even like to the extreme like gay or stuff like that. And for me, 
I have definitely been called those names before. I put on lipstick once. That didn't turn out too well. Uh, but that one, my sisters put it on me when I was asleep. Uh. Oh, I don't want to go down that path. Uh. The very dark. Uh. Nice. <laughs> In primary school, I was a choir boy. I was a choir boy in secondary school. Oh, yes. Choir boy. Choir boys. Choir boys. You never get choir boys, right? Best part, right, was that my voice was higher than all the girls. Every time I would be the only guy in class, right, like I knew go for choir practice, and then all the all the cool guys in like rock beats, like like um. No lah, no lah, no I don't think you want to fight. Yeah, I don't want to fight. Sing something then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I can't harmonize with shit. I'm just gonna tell you straight up, straight up. Next question. Next question. The singing rap will come in another time. Huh? If this video rap hits a certain amount of likes, we will sing for y'all. And if y'all comment about it and leave a comment saying you want to hear more, we'll make sure they sing more. The next couple of episodes. And that is my guarantee. That's his guarantee. Alright, so... 11 points? What's me? 11 points. Okay, next question is, who do you think should wear the pants in a relationship? <laughs> well... I'll answer this, so... Um... <laughs> that was very weighted well. Uh. I think I'm more traditional, so I prefer the, the guy to like take charge and like steer things, move forward, like how that you do and do that. Let's drive. But at the same time, I'm also independent and I don't want to be pushed. So it's like, exactly, I got my own stuff and let me do my own stuff. So there should be one person who does wear the pants, but I think this for me, personally, I prefer the more traditional route that the guy is like. Oh. Hello? Yes? I mean, hey, like, please, like, open the door for me, like, you know? Yeah. Let me be on the inside of the road. No. Yeah, like, if a girl can have her ribs, like, she can Food's different. Food has no gender whatsoever. Like, Food's <laughs> no gender. Food is no gender. Like, get yourself a girl who eats ribs. Don't get yourself a girl who eats salad, man. Hey, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> To summarize, for relationship track, throw away the pants, throw away the skirts. Exactly. Both of them wear booty shorts. Booty shorts. <laughs> yeah. Shake that ass. Make okay. decisions together. That's what it's all about. You're in a relationship. Alright. <laughs> right. I, like, I like how we went from like who wears the pants in a relationship and steering to what a girl should eat. <laughs> so. so, how would you feel if your significant other was the breadwinner? I've got actually two answers to this. The first part of me would say, why not? Like, come on, like, be the breadwinner, sure. I ain't gonna stop you. You're your own woman. You be independent, you do you. Then there's another part of me, and this is actually more real. Uh, I honestly feel <laughs> shit, uh, Because as much as we want to say that, oh yeah, we should break gender norms, gender stereotypes, the truth is there's still a lot of pressure on the guys and I do feel the pressures la, to be that breadwinner in the future. And if like my, my 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 significant other is okay with it, what's to say how her parents might feel about it? Her family, her side of the family. And they'll be thinking, hey, your husband, what the heck you doing man? You felt you felt something in your heart. Right? Points. The points. points. 15. It was heartfelt, it was heartfelt. So 15 points for Sam. Oh no. Oh no. How would you feel if you saw a guy wearing a skirt? I mean, what's going to be weird? Like, you know, I don't understand this one trend on TikTok right now where guys dress up in a maid costume and that's empowering. Like, kudos to you, man. Like, if you want to wear a maid costume, wear a maid costume. But, see a guy with like big burly ties and his mini skirt. Hey, what's wrong? And hairy legs. I don't know, it's like I just feel like. <laughs> <laughs> For y'all, it would just be weird. Am I right? Not normal, yeah. 
not normal, out of the norm, yeah. something you don't see every day. Yeah, but I've got a surprise for y'all. <laughs> So what were y'all saying about uh, skirts huh? and uh, body? Is that what y'all saying? Huh? She was talking about a bag. Huh? Yeah, I feel good. I feel very cold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very breezy. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm wearing shorts underneath. Huh? today were amazing. I have no idea who is in the lead in terms of points. Because it doesn't matter. That's the points don't matter. And with that, we have come to another episode of Good Game Well Played. So thank you so much for watching the video. If you like the video, like, subscribe, comment. I don't know, share it with your friend. Share it with your dog, your cat. Your yes. hamster. hamster. Don't forget the hamster. Okay. Wait, 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 the guy expected you to hold the wallet. Yeah, it's like every time.